Hey what up guys, it's Dojil FX back with another Fresh Music Fridays for you guys and I'm sorry for not getting an episode up last week. I was really busy doing some stupid college work and I barely got any time to record or edit. So I'm going to try and make it up to you guys with this video. And this video we're going to be doing something a little bit different. For the five songs that I tell you guys, we're going to have a theme incorporated and we're going to be talking about contemporary hip hop. So I want to show you guys how much it's changed and how different the genre is and how you can include many many different kinds of songs in this genre now. But hopefully with these five songs you'll get what I'm saying and let's just get right into them. So guys the first song I'm going to be talking about is 17 by Caddo. It's a very slow underrated mellow song but I feel that the chorus is what makes it happen. It's got this very auto-tuned very jumpy almost like a deep house chorus with amazing bars in between it and this is the kind of thing that you'd only hear in new hip-hop not something you'd hear in the old hip-hop this is very contemporary very uh commercial and very new which i think has shown what hip-hop's made out of nowadays and it's a really good song check it out it'll get stuck in your head for sure song number two has got my favorite resist in the industry right now and i've already spoken to you guys about him once it's logic mr young sinatra with a song from his sophomore album the incredible true story called like whoa this song is crazy guys, try singing along, I dare you, he's got the speed, he's got the talent and somehow sick beats as well. What I love about these kinds of songs is that they don't have to be about drugs or girls or clubs or any of that stuff, which is very 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 repetitive in hip hop, but it's just him talking about himself and his life and his struggles, which for some reason really works well with this guy, especially on this album. He fits in perfectly with the contemporary hip hop guys and he is a force to be reckoned with guys, check him out. Post Malone, what do I say about this guy? He's just a kid who's not much older than I am, who made his huge impact with this one song. I thought that would be the last I heard of this guy once dabbing went out of style, but as it turns out, we've actually got another song out of this guy. Go Flex is, I guess, what you could call his follow up to his 200 million hit song, White Iverson, and it's actually really good. I feel like this is one of the more ambitious songs of the five, which incorporates almost a little bit of country with the classic guitar and the hip hop beats, which sounds like a strange combination but actually works. I know for a fact that the rap culture has changed after listening to this song and it's just another way to show how different songs can be in a single genre with some being influenced by country and others being influenced by the blues. Song number 4 is again a small song which hasn't been heard so much but it deserves a lot more attention than it's got. Do It All by Mars is something that sounds a lot more like your classic black hip hop music but it reminds me a lot of Carter from episode 1 except with toned down beats. But this guy's dedication to his craft is something I find really fucking awesome. He's got music videos for almost all of his songs and despite the low view count it looks like he's still trying really hard. And major respect man if you're watching this keep up the good work and I cannot wait for new music from you. We can't end a show about new hip hop without talking about one of the most famous youngsters in the game right now, J. Cole. I hadn't really heard about any of his music before but I decided to finally get a look at what all the hype was about this guy and god damn I was not disappointed at all. The song that stuck to me the most was No Role Models and this guy showed me that he's got it all. The voice, the personality and when you look at this guy you know he's a rapper, he's made for the profession. His music speaks for itself. If you're a fan of the old school hip hop back in its glory days back when we were young like 2007, 2006, this song might just take you back there for a bit. Guys thank you so much for watching this video and uh, if you like this video please leave a like down below, comment if you want me to improve on anything and most of all let me know if you like this kind of video because I want to know if I should do more of these in like different genres and maybe even do artist profiles if you guys are into that and I'll uh, just leave a comment saying whatever you think I should do next and thank you so much for watching again and yeah that's it peace out